Hello everybody, <clears throat> and welcome back for the third night of Roughly a Week with Santa Altar, or Santa Altar for Roughly a Week, I mean to say. Got our nice little guest Santa Claus here. Uh, this was the team I was using when, uh, when I was farming. Yeah, kind of like to replace, I don't know. I suppose we can ditch. And swap to you. So really, you could probably do better with a buster up the parts up. So you are... A caster. You do have a buster MP. That is not what I meant to do. Go back up. Where'd it go? There it is. Use that one instead. Okay. Third night. Heartbreak Jing Chan. <laughs> We're here. Tonight's Please Santa letters is from Jing Chan, with no permanent address. She doesn't settle down anywhere because of her job as an assassin right now. She's hiding out in the cave. And our first option here is, could you be talking about Jing Kei? And the second option is, what sort of request was it? Uh, if you say the first option, she says, I said Jing Chan, stop using hard Chinese words, I can't read or write. <clears throat> and we're going to pick the second option. She asks for the mental fortitude to stay calm during a critical moment, and a head that can easily be removed with a flick of the dagger. Mm-hmm. By the way, Reka, did you hear that sound earlier? A sound like heavy flesh being stubbornly pul pulverized by a blunt object, or a leather sandbag being repeatedly struck, something like that. Uh, your first option is, I have a bad feeling about this. The second option is, I already figure figured someone was there. Uh, <clears throat> whichever you say doesn't change the following text, so it doesn't matter. So I guess we have a bad feeling about this. You have sharp senses. I hadn't even noticed. Anyway, we'll know for sure once we get inside. This cave has no chimney. Route of infiltration. <clears throat> we'll open the door and <clears throat> We'll open the door and charge straight in. Here we have St. Martha. Boo! Ha! Ra! What's up with this, this holy birthday festival? They say they're celebrating his birth, but when... But then, what's with all these lovers exchanging gifts and stuff? No, that's fine. That's perfectly fine, Martha. <clears throat> that's perfectly fine, Martha. Believers demonstrating their faith through love is a good deed all its own. The problem is that people don't have the balls to confess their feelings without perverting his birthday. And in the first place, it's supposed to be in October, isn't it? Why December? And why all these pop songs for a sickly sweet holiday? It fell. No, the chain holding the punching bag snapped. And our option here says, I didn't see anything. And this is Ushiwakamaru, and she said, Agreed, Lady Martha. If one wishes to send gifts, one can send it any time one wishes. Thinking back, I once sent my dear brother the head of an enemy general. He refused it for some reason, though. Speaking of which, our lord resembles him somewhat. When we were hunting monsters, he wanted the demons' hearts, not their heads. He insisted I stop removing the heads because it was creepy. 
They are both so selfless. That elegant quality that they share is simply wonderful. Lately, he's been wondering, or he's been ordering the removal of the enemy's eyeballs or st some such. If ordered, I, Ushiwakamaru, would gladly gouge out every eyeball from those demon god pillars and offer them to our lord as gifts. As a gift. But sadly, he has yet to give such a command. I wonder if our lord will ever have me carry out a chaotic operation that makes me tremble just to hear it. Wow, that was... I mean, it's true. <laughs> it's definitely true. We do certainly order them to gouge out hearts and the like. We need all the demon hearts. <laughs> Reka, this woman who doesn't know how to work with her stress issues... Oh, wait. I think we're on the... Okay. Now we are saying what I was about to just say. Uh, Reka. Technically she's saying Reka Rikudo, but, you know, whatever. This woman who doesn't know how to work out her stress issues and this loyal dog with the broken verbal filter, are they friends of yours? Well, whatever. Rejoice. I'm told Jing Chan is here. And here we're back with St. Martha. Wait, who are you? Since when have you two been there? Okay, and our options here say, We just got here, I swear. And the second option says, We didn't see anything. We didn't see anything. Uh, whichever you say does not change the response in any way whatsoever. So, you can just pick whichever you feel like picking. So, we didn't see anything, man. It's as my reindeer says. We've come to meet Jing Chan. We have no interest at all in the conversation that took place here that would shock our, your master if he heard it. Ahem. <laughs> I see you've come to call on Miss Jing K. I welcome you to this cave, which is supposed to be so far removed from human civil civilization that no one should ever find it. Are you a traveling, erm, um, a party of two? Please take a seat. I shall prepare some victuals. Would you do us the honor of going back wherever you came from after partaking in some warm soup? No need to wait on us. We'll leave right after our business is finished. Where is Jing Chan? Lady Jing Ke, ah, uh, about that. Was that someone saying my name? Oh no, our merry company is multiplied. Martha, you're in the kitchen. Then cut up some beef while you're at it. Sea turtle soup sounds good, too. Martha's cooking is downright tasty. I wonder why all the men won't touch her. <laughs> oh, you're pathetic. You'd never help with the cooking, and just laze about day and night. If I didn't have this staff, I'd punish you, Jin Kei. What happened to your usual calm and collected self? Eh? Make it, make it! I love when you cook meat. Yuko? That's what it's called, right? Yuko? That stuff with the, with the raw ground beef? It's the best with wine. Ah, but you don't have a knife, Martha. How did you get it so tender? Uh, this is Santa Alter speaking. She says, what? Is this... And then our first option here is, she's obviously drunk. And the second option is, she's obviously a cute lady. Uh, whichever you pick does not change the response, but she is obviously drunk. Hmm? Ushiwaka-kun, did you shrink? You've changed into a black outfit, heading out to the battlefield. I apologize, dear guests. Due to a certain incident, Jinkei began a drinking party that has gone on for ten days already. She is completely indisposed. I see. She couldn't wait for me. I should have come here right away. Forgive me. But be at ease. Santa Claus is here, my drunken little ch working woman. I have come to deliver you a present. What? Santa Claus, you say? That's right. You are wearing such an outfit. Curses! What's this? You've got some nerve showing your face here. No, that's not quite right. Because I'm about to bust it up. Prepare yourself, villain. Another Santa Claus? Great. Give me your best grilled meats, especially beef tongue. That stuff's great. Our first option here says, I knew they would attack us. And the second option says, Santa, what did you do? And 
we're going to say, I knew they would attack us. I saw this coming. I have many questions, but they will have to wait until after the fight. This miserable secret gathering of children with zero girl power. This is my royal decree. Once I defeat you, you will reflect on your actions and strive to improve your romantic prospects. Now it's going to take a little while to load for some reason, because, you know, loading is always fun. Uh, let's go with... It only has a 1,250, you should probably be able to kill it. And then this should work well enough, I think. For a second there, I thought she wasn't going to kill it. That is rude, Snowball Man. Hmm. Let's go this, this, this. Is this a three-stage mission or two? It's three. Okay. Oh, really? That's kind of surprising. Let's go with this, this, and this. Jack's gonna have a lot of work to do in this mission. <laughs> That's slightly concerning, but also not really that concerning. This is like the worst hand they could possibly give me. But alright then, let's go with a buster maybe. Come on, you can kill him, he only has that little tiny bit left. There you go, good job. Go with I feel like I don't need to use all of her turns. But at the same time I probably do. Let's just whatever. Let's just do this. It'll be fine. We can kill the next one in the next turn. It'll... Yeah. We killed her with the first hit. She's just Itan all over the place. Oh, is it really just Jinkei by herself here? That's silly. We got quite a bit. We lost. What a drag. I was only nine steps short. The match is yours. Ugh, how could we lose twice over some petty goods? It must be the staff. I knew a staff just wouldn't just didn't fit my fighting style. Oomph. You've settled down. Plainly, yes. Er, plainly, you Cretans have some grudge against Santa. What happened? Speak. You don't know. Another Santa Claus came by earlier. 
Wow, presents. Santa, I'd love a new set of German kitchen knives, I said happily. He had us sign our names on a peculiar document, stamp it with an official-looking seal, and before we knew it, we had bought our presents with exorbitant sums of our own money. That's not all. As soon as he knew we were out of money, he seized our household effects as collateral. What was that? Some, sort, some new form of sales? When did Santa Claus become a shady con man? As if that would happen. Santa Claus is a friend of the children. Still, it is clear that you've been victimized. As a Santa, you have my regrets. And we can say that Santa has to be a fake for our first option, or Santa Alter is a good evil Santa <laughs> for our second option. Uh, if you say the first option, Ushiwakamaru says, now that you mention it, Lady Santa Alter is wearing black. At a glance, one wouldn't think she was Santa Claus. But the other Santa was obviously dressed as Santa Claus. Okay, but well, we're going to pick the other one. Hmm, that's such a difficult way of putting it. Is she good or bad? Which one is it? She's a black Santa, the kind that brings rotten presents to naughty children. Black Santa is surely terrible to the children, but objectively speaking, you could say she shows them the way to correct their bad deeds. Not at all. I just give people what they need. I'm not here to convince you. Leave the high-minded rhetoric to Avenger. Anyway, you three have had it rough. Let's see. This is more people than I expected. This is for the lady who looks like she might catch a cold. The genuine article isn't here, but if you keep this near, I'm sure you will encounter the real thing. And she gave her... And the ship conquers. Which... You know. A, a ship? Small boats aside, a ship this big is... Well, if I sneak aboard under cover of night and remove the captain's heads, that'll take care of the, that'll take care of the rest of the crew quickly. <laughs> Such lively delusions are proof of your genius, loyal hound. You never cease to worry for your brothers and lord. Next is... Oh, I get something too. You don't hold a grudge against the people you fight. I apologize for getting the wrong impression, real Santa Claus. Your heart is true. This is for you. You like this sort of thing, right? And it's the Iron Training CE. Oh! Goodness gracious. The hell do I... The hell I do? I don't want this. Why would a saint need a body... Need to body build? Hey, what about me? Don't I get a present? Certainly. This is for you, Jing Chan. For an assassin who loses her nerve right in front of her mark, this is a lucky charm to help you compete your job with elegance. And it's be elegant. <laughs> and she's laughing. That is what that is. Our options here are she loves it for the first one, or you were right on the money. Um, let's go with you were right on the money. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything. Splendid. This goatee gentleman is lovely. Ah, I just came a little... What? <laughs> My heart skipped a beat. I'm going to assassinate this man. He's got a face that makes me want to drive a dagger right through his back. Uh, the first option is actually someone already got to him, and the second option is this destroy mode is too scary. But uh, let's say the first one. I'm sorry, Lady Jing Kei doesn't get drunk very often, but when she does... She started after we scam after we got scammed by that Santa Claus, it's no surprise. Hmm. That Santa Claus was able to bring strong girls like you so low. Well, it's not my problem. Our job here is finished. We're leaving, Reika. The next troubled child is waiting for us. They're gone. I suppose she was a good Santa in the end. But why was our lord with her, wearing a reindeer hat? I mean, personally I thought he was just adorable. <laughs> the sight was a Christmas present all its own. Well, maybe he's into that. You know, how writers are. Anyway. Hey, where'd Jin Kei go? Ah, well, water under the bridge. Let us put the bearded gentleman behind us. Okay. 
and we got an apple. How very exciting. And yeah, that was the third night, Heartbreak Jingchan. Uh, in the next part, we'll play through the fourth night. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.